Hi, my name is Anders. I'm a designer here at Ume, and today I'm showing you how to install the Hazel pendant. There's two versions of this lamp, and today I brought the mini, but the procedures are exactly the same. Let's have a look at the content. All right, so our first step is of course to unbox the product. It comes in uh, one of our gift boxes, so first we remove, we remove the sleeve, and inside we'll find the actual box. And uh, for this product, it's a nice decorative box that you can reuse to store whatever item you, you want to. Um, so don't throw it out. And inside you'll find first the user guide and also some electronic waste guidance. A set of gloves and the small grommet here that you will use later in the installation. First I will put on the gloves. It will prevent fingerprints and scratches on the product. First part you take out is uh, the canopy. And then canopy, you'll find uh, the seating bracket that goes on the seating first, and then also uh, two strain reliefs and the terminal block. So I'll start by undoing the screws for the mounting bracket. In case you want to mount several of these lamps in a row, uh, you will have to use this spare grommet that uh, comes with the product. And um, you feed the, the power cord into one grommet, connect to the, to the terminal block, and then feed the next one out through this grommet. It goes in this little notch here that where you break off this piece. But for now, as we're only installing one lamp, we're just gonna leave this and don't use this. So, I am gonna undo one strain relief here. I'm gonna install the mounting bracket now. It goes the ceiling. I have uh, pre-drilled some holes and for this particular wall. It's a drywall. I use some raw plugs suited for the application. But of course you will need to find some way of mounting that will fit your wall. You might have a wooden ceiling or concrete and different materials require, require different fittings. The next thing is to finish up the electrical connections here. I have a piece of wire that is not connected on the other end, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you how to install this end. If you are not comfortable with this part of the installation process, you're of course advised to, to contact your local electrician. One goes in N, one goes in L. And you push down on this latch in order to put in the wire completely. So on the terminal block, uh, for, for each side of the terminal, you have two holes. It's used for parallel, uh, connecting the, the more lamps in parallel. Uh, but just be, be sure you put one in N and one in L and not both in the same side. 
that and then put it down here and then that's secured. And then we're just going to tighten the strain relief. I am going to take off the gloves here because I'm only working inside the canopy. And next up here is just to slide back in the grommet. This is make sure that the, the metal part of uh, the cam canopy will not uh, eat into the, to the wire. And now we're actually uh, ready for installing the lamp. This would be a nice uh, point. Uh, to actually shorten the cable also. You can uh, undo this screw here and pull the cable a little bit backwards. And you are able to actually fit a lot of uh, spare cable up here, but you can cut it to length and, uh, and install it into the, to the terminal block again. So I'm undoing this, this knot. And mind you, this is also a strain relief mechanism. So it will need to be retightened in order to, to hold the weight of the lamp. But uh, lose it completely and then you can back up the, the lengths of wire that you need. Like that. And it goes back on here. Be sure not to break off these small pieces of the string relief because this is what's going to hold the wire. They are a little bit fragile, like that. So I will uh, recommend leaving the paper on for now because it will uh, prevent any scratches if these two parts touch. Um, and I'll just put this down on the ground. Don't tighten it too much because you will need to do the other end also. And it can be a little bit difficult if, it, if one end is too tight from the beginning. All right, back on with the gloves. Because last step is, of course, to remove the paper. And here's your finished installed product. I hope you will enjoy the lamp. And if you have any other questions about the product or any other product from Ume, just uh, write to uh, info at ume.com. <laughs>